Hello and welcome back. I've had a bit of a break since my last video as we welcome the birth of our twins. But now with a new year here, I aim to get back into making videos and writing a lot more in general. Today I have a pen that has been on my list for quite a while, but have often overlooked it. This is the Faber-Castell Hexo. My first Faber-Castell fountain pen. Up until now, my experience with the company began and ended with the very popular connector pens from school. I can safely assume it's called the Hexo for its hexagonal barrel, which is made from anodized aluminium. This makes it feel premium, but still very lightweight. It is not a heavy pen at all. The grip section is rounded. I'm glad they didn't try to continue the design of the body into the grip and make it akin to something like a Lamy Safari. It uses some notches inside the cap to make sure that the hexagonal sides always align on both body and cap. The nib, while I wish it was slightly larger, contains a nice design and comes in black to match the accents of the pen. This is a broad. There are actually surprisingly few pens at this price point that come with a broad nib, outside the likes of Lamy or Twisby. Unscrewing the barrel, we find a converter, which was purchased separately. It does take standard international size cartridges and converters, but of course one was not included with the pen, which I have accepted is the norm outside of a few pen manufacturers, but still very disappointing. Now for a writing sample. I was pleasantly surprised with how the steel nib felt, and also the broad was perfect for what I wanted. It puts down a nice amount of ink, which is required for this Pilot Yurizuku Hotari Bai, which is of such a bright, almost fluorescent highlighter colour. The pen can be posted also, but it is a good length to write unposted. For likes and dislikes, the things I like are the design, the metal body, the fact it uses international standard converters and cartridges. The nib is smooth but nothing too exciting, but I actually don't expect it to be at this price point. I really wanted a budget broad nib pen, instead of just adding another Lamy Safari or Twisby Eco to my collection. For dislikes, there really isn't much. If I had to nitpick, I'd say the clip is slightly tight, but it's not really an issue for me as I rarely use them. It might actually be slightly too light for me though, even with a full converter inside, I found it too light to what I generally enjoy. It is also on the shorter side, compared here to a Cross Calais and a Twisby Eco, but not short enough to be uncomfortable unposted. Overall, it's a good entry level pen that some may not have known existed, and it is definitely worth a look if you want something different to the main contenders. As always, let me know your experience with this pen. I always love reading through the comments. Otherwise, thanks for watching and goodbye.